All right, guys, so happy Sunday, happy Mother's Day. Today is my Keep It Simple Sunday um, challenge, and I'm going to be showing you how I make or how I put my war binder together, and then I'm just going to show you very quickly how you can do the same thing, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a happy planner, but I like the happy planner, so that is what I use and this is just a way to kind of reuse like say you have a happy planner that you really like and it's either expired or you just like the cover <clears throat> this is a good way to repurpose it and use it for that but you don't like I said you don't have to use a war binder and I'm going to give you a few more options um, on what other things you could use so very briefly I'm going to show you what my war binder looks like and if you're not familiar with a war binder it is from, it's kind of based off of the movie War Room, <clears throat> and it is kind of a, I guess, a, <clears throat> excuse me, a war room that you can carry around with you, rather, because I don't have a spot for a war room, <clears throat> so this is my war room, this is my war binder right here, so again, this is just a happy planner that I had. I liked the cover, so I wanted to make sure I reused it. And I just have sticky notes in here, and it says prayer journal, so obviously you could use it as a prayer journal, war binder, you can just use it as a regular journal, whatever. And I do have a playlist of other ways that I've repurposed planners, how I've used other planners to make new ones, <clears throat> excuse me, so definitely I'll have that playlist in the description box so anything that I don't explain in depth in this video it'll be in that playlist so definitely check that out so I started off I just put prayer journal I couldn't find one that I liked that said war binder so eventually I'll probably change this out and then um <clears throat> this is just something that I printed out excuse me it's from crazy simple truth it's she has a a, a YouTube channel um, I'll link that in the description box as well she's awesome so if you're new to um, you know Bible study or anything like that even if you're not new if you're just looking for new ways to study the Bible she is amazing she has so many videos just breaks it down for you and this is just something that I kind of printed out just so that I could kind of have a her name is Nikki Drake and um, so I just printed those out and put those in there now as far as my dividers these were monthly dividers and I just took washi tape or stickers and I covered up the month and that's all I did and I did cover up some stuff that was personal or I removed it so everything isn't in here but under here I just have like prayer requests that other people have given me that are like long-term prayer requests or something like that and then I have a little sheet that goes here that has like prayer requests that people give me you know on a running bait you know on a on a regular basis and I just either switch them out and I put them in a different binder or whatever so you know you can do that however you want to I just like having one here so it's the first thing that I look at when I open up my war binder so I pray for those and I make sure that I pray for those every day and um, this is just one of the little cards I got this from Dollar Tree it was in one of those boxes and it had a bunch of prayer cards in it and it just has a scripture and so I just you know add things to kind of decorate a little bit this is my daily prayers that I do just on a regular basis and then these are this is how I break down my weekly prayers so on Sundays I pray for my church Mondays my husband Tuesdays my children Wednesdays my home Thursdays myself Fridays family and friends which includes like the sick and stuff like that and then Saturday for the world and um, then the next thing that I have in there is my personal prayer requests here. I cover those up, obviously, because they're personal. So this is just stuff that I'm currently praying for um, in my life personally. So those are in there. And then 
I like the prayer of Jabez. I read the book. If you've never read it, man, I highly, highly recommend it. It's life changing. So um, I pray this every day. So I, I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Some days I've, you know, skipped it, skipped the prayer journal altogether, not on purpose, but the day gets away from me and I don't realize it until, you know, it's so late. But I do pray every day. I just don't always go through my prayer journal. But um, so I pray the prayer of Jabez every day. And again, if you haven't read that, definitely take a look at that. And then this is just stuff that I've added into mine. You can put whatever, like I said, whatever you want. And if there's a printout that I can find, I will, you know, link it. This is just stuff that I found online that I liked. So this is a, you know, a daily list of prayers. So every day, you know, you just pray for something different for yourself. And then just little scriptures and prayers that I have. This one I printed out online as well. And it's just a daily prayer for your spouse. So um, it's not, you know, if you husband, wife, whatever. Um, every day, you know, you pray for something new. So today is what's today's date i don't even know but whatever today's date is so say it's the 11th um you would just pray that for your spouse and i just go through that you know daily and then i have the same kind of idea for my children and um yeah so i have that one and then i have these monthly prayers and i have them all in here from obviously from January to December and I just print them out they're from Kingdom Bloggers and I don't know if they have like new ones every year but I started this one in September of last year and I just printed out all the months and I put it in here and every month I just switch it out and that's it so then I'm not going to show you the inside like the details of my um every tab but i go by the tabs on my i mean the daily prayers and each each yeah, sorry each day of the week has a tab in my binder um except for my church just because i just pray for that on sundays but i'm not going to show you what's inside because obviously that's personal but i have a tab for my husband then I have a tab for my children and in this tab in this tab I have one sheet for each of my children that has like personal prayer requests for each of them and then I have the tab for my home and see if you have like uh, birthday cards any kind of greeting cards anything like that that you just don't want to throw away I use them in my binders, so this is a card that I, I don't know if I just bought it because I liked it or if somebody gave it to me, but I liked what was on the front, so I just cut it out and punched it and put it in there. And this is a tab for myself, and, oops, and then this one is my tab for family and friends and for the sick, and... So then this is my devotion. So this is like um, my journal, not my journal, my scripture reading, my scripture journal. So all that stuff is in here and there's just different ones. That same kingdom blogger, when you print out the month, it comes out with the prayer for the month, your scripture readings for the month, um, and I, a couple of other pages. I can't remember what else is in it. But these are the scriptures for the month. And then I have other reading plans in here. And I also have my some of my Bible journals that I didn't put in my other Bible journal that I did here. So that's that. And then, uh -oh. and then I have, I just dropped my stuff there. Then I have extra like tabs. And as you can see, these are just the monthly tabs. And I added pages and I will cover these up once I figure out what I want to use them for but they were just tabs that I liked so I wanted to keep those in there and then um, just other little pages and see these are the other two pages that come with 
the thing from the Kingdom Bloggers. And so that's how mine looks. And again, if there's anything that you have questions about, just comment down below and I will answer. All right, so I'm going to get into how I actually put it together. But first, I'm going to show you, you don't necessarily need a Happy Planner. I just like Happy Planner. So you can use a regular binder, just get filler paper, tab dividers, anything like that. And you can do the same exact thing in a binder. This one is one that I'm actually going to be trying to put together for myself. Um, the other one is something that I can kind of carry with me when I travel or just kind of easy around the house. I want one like this probably as my scripture journal, my Bible journal. So, so this is what I think I'm going to use this one for, just because I thought it was cute. <laughs> and then another option, I got this binder at the Dollar Tree. And then I got the filler paper from uh, Walmart. And you can get the little tab dividers from Walmart. And, you know, they have all these things. So you can definitely, and I think, you know, these filler papers are like $2 or something like that. So this is another option. And I like this one because it's small. So that's an option. And you can use a regular notebook. And by the way, when I do, when I go through my war binder, obviously I can't pray for everybody every day. I can't go through that whole war binder every day. So that's why I broke it down to days of the week. Now I have my prayers that I do every day for everybody, but there's no way that I could go through 13 kids and my husband and myself and my home and my family and friends. I couldn't do that every single day. It would take me hours. So that's why I broke it down to a daily thing. Anyway, so this is just, you know, a regular notebook. I haven't put anything in here, but obviously you can't put anything punched in here. So what you would do is just maybe get some cardstock that you like or um, construction paper. I mean, anything that you have. I like to use cereal boxes a lot of the times or like, you know, those types of boxes. Then you just tape it onto here and make yourself a tab divider. And then that way you can insert, you know, a tab divider into a regular notebook. And then you can do the exact same, you know, same thing. All right, so let's see. We are going to put this new war binder together real quick. And this is not going to be an in-depth one, but I'm just going to kind of show you real quick how I do it. This is a Happy Planner cover that I got that I haven't used yet. And I figured, why not? And I don't like the gold polka dot, so that's going to go on the inside. And then um, I have tons and tons of inserts and you name it. I've kept them from like old planners that I had. So just so you don't think I'm exaggerating, I have a whole box right here. And these are old ones from last year that I either didn't use or that I bought on clearance after the fact or whatever. So that's where I get my dividers from. Like, say, you know, you really like this, then you can use this. And then you just get a sticker. And I have tons of stickers, tons of washi tape. But you can use, even if you don't have stickers, you can just use, like, uh, you can use whiteout. You can use, uh, I mean, anything. You can just take some paper and tape it on there, glue it on there. You can do whatever, you know, but... Um, I love washi tape. So here are all my extra rings. So I'm obviously going to pick some to kind of go in there with that. And these are just cases that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I use them for my washi tape, my binder rings, all that and stuff. So yeah, so you just use whatever, whichever ones you want. And like I said, I have repurposed... <laughs> I've repurposed my old ones and I, I have those in a playlist, but basically all you do is just cover these up with washi tape or stickers and then you can use them for anything. They don't have to just be a monthly planner. You can use them for notes. You can use them for anything that you want. And these are all the ones that I have. So like I said, you can just kind of pick whatever you want. 
And I'm just going to grab this divider and these sheets here. And then I'm going to put these aside. Okay. So then. That's cute, and it kind of matches that one, so there you go. And then this is the tape from Dollar Tree, and it's the double-sided tape. This is from the Crafter Square. This is my favorite. The only thing that I wish that they would do is make it in a roller, and I know that they had some small ones, but um, I've only found those once. So this they have all the time, and it's actually my favorite double-sided tape. I don't like the one that comes in the school supply section, you know, that comes in the dispenser. It just doesn't work as well. This is really, really good stuff, but because it doesn't come in a, like, in a little dispenser like this, makes it a little bit harder to use so I'm just going to use this so what this is is just like the back of one of the planner pages and I like it because it matches this divider so that's what you just do you just go through and kind of find the ones that match and look right and then that way you cover this part up that obviously you don't you don't need so you just take your uh, double-sided tape and again, if you don't have double-sided tape, you can use a glue stick, and that works just fine. Or, um, oops, is this one opposite? And then, <clears throat> excuse me, it works, you know, just as well. But I like the double-sided tape. Just make sure you get into all these little pieces here so they don't come apart at the seam there. And, um, yeah, just go through tape it all up like I said just make sure you get those and then you're gonna go you just want to put it all over the place but you definitely want to get like the edges and let me do this because it's not working very well that way let me just go down and I always just for good measure go down the middle there and go along this edge right here and just kind of you know do the whole thing make sure you get it all there and then very carefully make sure you line it up very carefully and then just stick it on there and now you have page and sometimes I mean it's not always perfect but it's okay then you have yourself a cute little divider that you know matches and you don't have to worry about the dates on there because they're covered up and this this is a really hard cover so maybe I shouldn't have used this one as an example probably switch it to this one look at the unicorn that's cute um <laughs> So I, yeah, I think I'm going to switch it and use this one maybe. I don't know. I think I might. Yeah, we're going to do that. Because this one was just too hard to get in there. Um, it's, a, it's a hard case. So I don't feel like dealing with that right now. So what we're going to do is switch it out. And you'll see how quick and easy it is this way rather than the other way. See these switch faster. That other one is just so hard I can't 
I couldn't get them in there quick enough. This is how easy these are, and I think I'm missing one. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm missing a gold one. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I know what to do. It's fine. We'll just use the four like that for now until I can find the other one. I know I have it. I think it's downstairs. So then you just pop these in there. Oh, duh. And there's that. So there's your first tab. And then I printed these out. This is just a prayer that I, I don't know, I found online and I liked it. So I figured I would add it in there. And this is a prayer for yourself. I didn't realize how small the writing is, but you know, it still works. And you can add all this stuff in here. You can print these out. You can print whatever you want, whatever size you want and put them in there. Now for the like pages on the inside. Obviously you can just buy like regular paper or anything like that. Um, but because I have so many pages like this, just going to kind of show you how I would change it up a little bit. And again, I have videos on all of this. I'm just trying to show you real quick how I would put one together. And because we already used this one for the page, I'm just going to go ahead, I mean, for the front thing there. Um, and this is just an old gift card that I had. It helps cut the washi tape a lot easier. I don't know what that noise was. And you just tear it right off. And sometimes you have to put, this is better for this right here you probably want to use stickers for just to kind of make sure you can cover up all the words and stuff. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're going to do with that one. And then cover all this stuff up. So guys, today is my Keep It Simple Sunday challenge, and my co-host is Lynn over at Hot Mess and Hot Glue, and if you haven't checked her channel out, you definitely need to. She is talented, she is such a sweetheart, and just, you know, go ahead, check her out, and let her know that I sent you, and if you're coming over here from the playlist, coming over from Lynn's channel, thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. And I hope you stick around, subscribe, hit that like button, and let me know that you came over from her channel. So here we go. And I kind of like how this one has Monday through Sunday here. Then you can just kind of go through and put whatever you want on there. But see, you just go ahead and go through and cover up the old stuff. And like I said, stickers would probably oops work better for this there we go and this just I'm telling you the little card definitely works better you would just cover all that stuff up go through and I mean if you wanted to use these spaces just like that you could obviously but yeah you just go through cover it all up and then just add that into your binder and you can use it for you know whatever tab you want you just include it in there pop all that stuff in there call it a day so that's how I would put one together and again you can put whatever tabs you want kind of go and kind of re rewind go back and see what the tabs were that I used but I mean Dollar Tree has so many different options if you don't have a happy planner you can use these you can just use again go check out the playlist I made a I taught I showed you guys how to make tabs i showed you guys how to put these together kind of cut them up chop them up and do all this stuff to it but i just wanted to show you 
my war binder kind of how I did that and that is it guys so thank you so much for watching if you're coming over here from the playlist thank you and welcome and if you're my returning subscribers thank you so much you know I appreciate you be sure to check out the playlist check out Lynn thank you so much Lynn for co-hosting with me um, and I'll have all that information in the description box. And that is it, guys. Until next time, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye, guys.